Assalamu alaikum and very good evening. I am Muhammad Moshaduddin, Chief Catholic Technologist at National Heart Foundation Hospital and Research Institute. Today my talk is role of technician and nurses in the management of complex PCI. The term of complex referred to a large number of thi things together, especially when they are confusing or difficulties. The, in the complex PCI, clinical outcomes followed. Revascularization depends on patient character axis, cardiac function, coronary artery disease distribution, and the number of disease vessel involvement. In the cardiovascular cath lab, a cardiologist works with a multidisciplinary team of assistants to diagnose and treat life threatening heart disease. We know that this team is usually comprised of a senior consultant, consultant, registered doctor, and nurses and paramedics. We know that possible success and long term outcome depends on a good teamwork, experienced intervention cardiologist, and utilization of specialized equipment. What about the about responsibility of cath lab technician and nurses? Not only in the complex PCI, in all the cases, they need to assist in pre procedural, peri procedural, during procedure, post procedure, and patient care and management. They should, in complex PCI, identify the optimal strategy to assist in managing procedure related complications, circulating during the procedure, being responsible for the patient while being assisting and observing vital signs and hemodynamic monitoring during the procedure and intervening when is necessary. As an important part of the cath lab team, we should know how to use proper tools in proper position. May participate to take proper decision in complex situations, determine complexity and prepared as how to overcome safely and safety oriented of a complex PCI. I would like to share a few cases which are very complex, high, cheap cases where we need to take some responsibilities during tackling this type, case, this type of cases. This is a 73 years old gentleman presented with OMI inferior, recent MI anterior and post, PC, post MI angina. He had history of 15 years back CABG and 5 years back PCI. If you see the angiographic views, left mean flag burden need to be evaluated properly. It is significant or not. LED is totally occluded. ISR, instant and peristent. OM is peristent restenosis. However, this vessel is only lifeline. Right corner artery is totally occluded. And all the graphs are occluded. So before starting this type of procedure, we need to take some responsibilities. What type, what type devices are required this, during tackling these cases? After opening this LED CTO with the CTO wire, CTO wire should be removed from the coronary artery because further prevent the further events. After that, we need to evaluate left main flag button. It is significant or not, require intervention or medically treated. An IBUS study showed there is a significant flag button in the left main, and LC, however, LCS ostium is free of disease. So, after proper job of predilatation in ISR, in the mid segment of LED, 3 into 38 millimeter stent ported. After that, before porting another stent in left main to LED, we need to tackle peristent dystenosis in OM because L6 is highly angulated from left main. During position of stent in left main ostium, my orthogonal position need to require uh, during and final angiography should be taken, orthogonal views, and if you have imaging modalities, should be used for long-term outcome. This is the another case, lab dominant and typical made in a classification on, 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 very complex chip case. When we treat this type of case in the cath lab, we need to take preparation before starting the procedure, like guide what type of guide catheter required, multiple wire and balloons also required, imaging modality tools if we have to need to present. So, okay. After tackling bipacaching lesion with the double sense strategy, final casing balloon dilatation done, 
And uh, imaging showed this uh, proper dilatation and stent are nicely opposed for long term long outcome. This is the final uh, case. This is a 40 years old gentleman rushed to the cath lab with in a cool off state of heart. This is the BF is going on complete heart block. After defibrillate, the temp defibrillate temporary face maker is, was placed, primary PCI was started with the guiding catheter, CPR was going on, heart was real barely moving and patient developed card, uh, respiratory arrest and intubation done. After wiring of left ventral circumflex, repeated thromboaspiration done with the thrombus catheter, bullous dose of adrenaline given for the jumping of the heart, heart is starting moving, CPR is going on, BT arise and uh, managed by uh, DC shock. After putting stent circumflex, flow was established. However, patient was in cardiogenic shock, required LB assist device, we put IBP. Then, uh, final angiogram with the IBP support, uh, left mental circumference is nicely visualized with good distal for BC, BP also maintained. Patient was shifted to CCU, and seven days later, patient discharged from our hospital. Four months later, we checked check CG done and found left mental circumference is nicely visualized and patent stand. However, OM is occluded, LAG also was occluded, and, and nicely collateralized from life system. Patient under the CABG. At present, she, he is fine. For the management in the chief cases, as an important part of the cath lab team, cath lab technician, nurses are played very important role for the success. When informed emergency medical officer about this case, we uh, prepared a scarf totally with PCI kits, anesthetic equipments, and, uh, and other emergency tools, emergency drugs. So, in summarize, every team member is very important in the cath lab for the success. A, you know, especially during complex cases, need to multiple helpful hands for the success. In the cat lab, we cannot do any procedure without team member. We should maintain good relation with all members within the cat lab team. I feel proud as an uh, expert team of uh, National Heart Foundation Hospital. Thank you, uh, BSCI, for the presenting, sharing the experience.